okay so now uh, let's look at why the totem pole output configuration will not work for wire ending okay so here you can see i have taken one totem pole circuit another totem pole circuit similar circuit it is i have not marked the uh, values of resistance this is 4k this is 4k 1.4k 1k similarly here also 4k 4k 1.4k 1k you can imagine similar structure i have made just i flipped it here the output is z input is pq here the input is ab output is y q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 q6 q7 q8 the point is not the circuit uh, what i am trying to do is i want to connect these two guys and i want here y dot z wire ending i am doing now i will tell you why it will not work okay so you can see that uh, if let's say your y is equal to 1 output means from this circuit you are getting logic 1 output and from this circuit this one you are getting the output 0 right so what will happen this is 1 this is 0 means this part will be on here right that's why it is getting y is equal to 1 and here it is this part is on that's why it is getting 0 right that's what you can think so there will be a path from this position to this okay vcc to r4 to q4 to this diode to this q7 and ground it is it will flow a large current in this path and that we don't want because it may destroy the transistor okay we we, we actually want 1.0 it equals 0 it should come here but it will not come because high current will flow from this path and there may be a chances of uh, destroying the transistor that's why we don't uh, this totem pole configuration doesn't work similar thing you can imagine when you have y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 now what will happen now Im imagine this part is path is not there right now if you have this time here 1 and this time 0 what will happen from this side this path will be on and from this side this path will be on so what will happen you will have a current large current flowing through this path okay and that we don't want that that can destroy the transistors and it may totally uh, get destroyed and we won't be able to use it as well so that's why we don't connect open uh, totem pole outputs in wire ended form because they they tend to flow large current among the transistors when you have uh, the outputs uh, uh, in this fashion okay so that will destroy the transistor because in the circuit so to overcome this difficulty we have open collectors output now i'm gonna tell you the open collector version so that is also ttl uh, but slight difference similar type of uh, circuit will be there but uh, slightly different it's open uh, its collector will be open the output collector will be open and it is strictly for wire ending purpose okay the major application of open collector is to provide wire ending which you can't have with totem pole so let's see that circuit now okay now uh, let's look at open collector circuit so this is similar to what we have seen in TTL uh, all the parts are same only the output of Q or Q3 that is why is open it is not connected to VCC you can see that right so you can imagine like uh, if A and B will be equal to a zero or uh, any of them will be zero it will provide forward bias here uh, rear reverse bias here so this will be inactive similarly current will draw from here so q2 will be losing charges from base so it will be in cutoff it will not provide current to this q3 and hence this will be also in uh, cutoff right so any of the input is zero or uh, one this will be forward bias and uh, uh, reverse bias means these guys will be in cutoff cutoff means they will be in open 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 
and finally when both are input are one this will be reverse bias this will be forward bias so it will work in reverse active means this will uh, get current and this will be in saturation this will be in saturation means output will be low right so open it is open when whenever any of the input is low the output is open okay it is not connected to anything because it is cut off right now how we gonna use this circuit i'm gonna show you this is strictly for wire ending now I, I will be making a similar circuit here and i'll try to wire end them then what will happen you will see okay okay now uh, what i've done is <coughs> i have made another circuit here exactly similar to that right so uh, 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 how this is going to work now i'm going to tell you so this is the same circuit here you can see pq is the input vcc is the supply q4 q5 q6 is there r4 r5 r6 output is z now how i am i will be uh, generating wire ended uh, see here so vcc i'll connect a r pull up resistor from here i am taking output x and connecting this guys to like this okay or oh, let me show you in this fashion okay so that is how i am trying to generate wire ending means x should produce y dot z right this is my target now whether it is achieving or not we will see that right how um so let's say when the output is low uh, at uh, at uh, the q3 output is low and that at uh, q6 is high right here it is 1 here it is 0 so what will happen here it is 1 here it is 0 means why it is 1 because now it is connected right now it is now it is having connection so wire uh, open collector it was open collector but i took two circuits of them and i connected in this fashion to achieve wire ending so let's say this is zero or oh, let me use another pen it would be better so this is one and this is zero now what what will happen do you think the current will flow through the resistor and uh, since uh, this guy is not connected at all from here it will go and flow to, to ground right you can see that uh, since it is not connected and this is connected and uh, since it is providing a path x will directly get zero so y z zero 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 one one zero one one and x i am calculating so for zero zero we got zero output and it is satisfying our uh, condition right so first i am writing the table depending upon <coughs> this was one right y was one so it is like this now let's say imagine opposite if this guy is one this guy is zero so it is like open and here you can see you are getting what you are getting grounded to through q3 so the output will be zero here as well one means like open okay it is not like it is connecting to vcc means like this 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 is whole thing you can imagine so if it is open from this side like this guy will be open no i hope you are getting it means like when you are when i am saying one means it is open so uh, it is which condition mm. so here this side if it is generating one means you can see that it is open right from here there won't be any connection this guy will not be there so x will not give you get connected to anything but here it is connect zero means this is 0 0.2 volt means like it is connected to ground so that's why x is getting zero okay when both of them are zero so from here as well it is getting zero from here as well it is getting zero so zero but when both are one both are one one means this guy will be open this guy will be open so it is open so x will be connected to vcc okay so output high right so that is how it is making and gate so it is a truth table of and gate so it is providing and 
right one means like open means this guy will not be there this guy will not be there z will not be connected to anything so x will not be connected to anything x will be connected to other guy so that is how we are achieving at x wire ending of uh, two ttl circuits that is the major thing uh, we have open collector output for and uh, uh, totem pole which was not providing okay so that's the basic reason uh, for uh, uh, open collector circuit ttl type so they are open collector ttl and you saw individually this is the truth table individually for this also this kind of truth table will be there but you connect in this fashion you get at x the end date of version of these two okay so that's why we we uh, implemented open collector now there is one thing uh, remaining which i'll be telling you it's called tri state logic which is the combination of open collector as well as totem pole so that is the remaining part in ttl that i'll be telling you next